Good morning, uh, everyone, and a warm welcome to what I think will be a very exciting program uh, today. My name is Robert Dijkraaf. I'm director here at the Institute for Advanced Study. And uh, my role uh, today is very minimal, essentially two things. Uh, first of all, of course, to introduce uh, the organizer, moderator, and first speaker, uh, Sanja Varora, who has been leading uh, our efforts here in uh, theoretical machine learning. We're now in the second year of, uh, I think, a very exciting program, which actually will culminate uh, next year when there is a special program in the School of Mathematics uh, dedicated to uh, theoretical machine learning. Uh, the second thing is to uh, express thanks to uh, Eric and Wendy Schmidt, who has been providing uh, funds both for the whole program and for um, today's uh, Symposium. Now, I also want to add a few words about the title, uh, Deep Learning, Alchemy, or Science. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that uh, this, uh, this, this day will give alchemy a bad name. Uh, uh, because I, I saw the, the, the chemical or the reaction from, from making gold from lead already in the lower left hand corner. And of course, there were often, like Newton was criticized that you know, he was, he had serious contributions to physics, but then most of his time he spent thinking about alchemy, etc. And of course, you know, it's, 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 it's very well possible to make gold out of lead. It's called nuclear physics. Uh, it took another 300 years, and perhaps you remember, I think 10 years ago in one of the particle accelerators, I think at Brookhaven, actually, uh, physicists did collide lead nuclei and made uh, gold. And I think it took $10 million to produce a few atoms of gold. So <laughs> it's possible. Uh, the second anecdote I want to say is that uh, I was once attending a, a, a lecture on economics with a colleague of mine in Amsterdam. And he, his field of study is a hermeneutic. So alchemy, astrology, all of that 15th, 16th century knowledge. And he attended the economist talk. And he said, well, exactly the, ex the same expression as there's a little bit you know, in the title today. You know, oh, that's like alchemy. I was like, what do you mean by that? It says, no, it's not that it's not science. It's kind of hyper-science in the sense that uh, many e economics models are taken so seriously that the regulating agencies are implying them. So in some sense, the effects are mirroring the theory instead of the other way around. So that's the second thought I want to uh, take, give you for today, that you know, perhaps alchemy is even more than science. Anyhow, uh, to, to introduce uh, Sanjev, uh, so he's very distinguished. I won't read his full CV. Uh, it will take us the whole day. Uh, but of course, um, Sanjev earned his uh, bachelor degree in math and computer science at MIT, his PhD in computer science at the University of California, Berkeley. Uh, joined Princeton University assistant professor in 1994, and he has been the Charles Fitzmaurice professor there since September 2011. He's a member of the National Academy of Science and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. And uh, last summer, he was a, a plenary speaker at the International Congress of Mathematicians, and that actually was a wonderful lecture. I, I highly recommend that lecture. I, I viewed it online, but it was, was terrific. So I hope you join me in welcoming Sanjev to the stage, and he will, I think, both introduce the program and give the first lecture. Thank you very much, and a warm welcome.